Hello everybody, it's Zafrina here today, and I wanted to talk to you about training and capturing new horses in BDO. This would be for anybody who's just trying to get into training and start capturing horses, or people who may be new to the game. There are two things that you're going to need if you want to capture horses at least successfully, especially when you're getting started. Uh, one is you're going to need capturing ropes, and then... It's also suggested that you use lumps of raw sugar. A lump of raw sugar takes 10 raw sugars that you can get from a shop and one mineral water in order to make one lump of raw sugar. So you're going to need to go ahead and heat those items together and you should get some lumps of raw sugar which you can feed the horse after you have caught it with a rope. Using the lump of raw sugar will help you capture the horse and give you a greater chance of it actually allowing you to ride it and take it to a stable for register. The next thing that you're going to want is some capturing ropes that you can use to capture the horses with. These are easy to get from any stable manager. Just go to the shop and there should be some capturing ropes in there which you can pick up. And you'll probably want a good number of them, especially if you're first starting out because it does take a bit of getting used to. Another resource that you're going to want to look into when you're starting to capture horses will be the famed BDO map, or I guess it's just called the Something Lovely map. But uh, if you click on the Horses slash Elephants tab, it will show you where all the horses are on the map, and you can find whatever's closest to you or closest to some place that you have a lot of stables. Um, this is a frequent area by the Southern Guard Camp that I like to go to. There's two or three out here usually, and then there's quite a few back here and close to where Kazarka spawns. And so there's usually a lot, and so I can usually pick up a few horses while I wait for Kazarka to spawn. And then you can just take them back to the Southern Guard Camp and then transfer them wherever you might want them to go, or just go ahead and sell them since they're probably going to be level 1s, or tier 1s and tier 2s. They're usually not that exciting. If you want a better chance at getting a tier 4s and tier 5s, you might want to look into going to Dragon and close to Duvencroon. Duvencroon and all Dragon horses, uh, there's only about three areas that have currently been mapped. Um, the training areas are still being mapped for Dragon, but any training areas that are in the area of Dragon will be tier 4s or tier 5s no matter what. And so, if you have some space in Duvencroon, you can get quite a horse about quite a few horses set up there. So when you finally find some wild horses, you're going to want to have your rope and your lumps of sugar on your hot bar. And you're gonna wanna be a little bit sneaky, because they can be a little easily spooked. But you'll wanna line up the crosshairs and then left click. And there I was too late and also the horse ran away so it wouldn't have worked even if I had hit it on time. If the horse catches sight of you and runs away at the last second, he will run out of range and you'll miss even if you hit it on time. Oh, if you get them on the ropes when they rear, you're going to want to press space bar in order to start fighting with the horse, I suppose. And so you'll want to fight it until it calms down, which takes 10 seconds, and then you're going to want to sneak forward again. And you will continue pressing spacebar until the horse has calmed down. And sneak forward again. And here I am close enough to the horse, it's not going to rear anymore. Now that you're right next to it, you're going to want to use your lump of raw sugar. And then you'll want to actually stand near it and give it a few seconds. Because sometimes, even if it has been a while since you've done the capturing, it will decide that you haven't waited long enough and will kick you off. So then you'll want to press R to try and get on. And sometimes it will kick you back and say training has failed and you have to do it all over again. Otherwise, like this horse did, it will work and you can get on just fine. And then you'll need to take it 
to a registering place which can be a bit of a nuisance since they will only go at a trot and so it takes a hot minute to get back to any place where you might be able to register them. All right, so we have reached town. What you'll want to do when you get to the stable keeper is jump off your horse, talk to the stable keeper, go to stable, and register wild horse. And we're just going to name him Bob. Because I think he's only a tier one. Yeah, he's a tier one. So what you would probably want to do with your wild horses that you get is you can immediately sell them for whatever will be given to you. Or you can go ahead and train them up to 15 and then do Imperial Delivery, which is not available here. But Imperial Delivery will give you seals, which you can use to make Krog's Origin Stones if you are eventually going to be going for your tier 9. So since I don't really have any use for this horse and I have plenty of other horses to use for Imperial Delivery, I'm going to go ahead and just sell this mount. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're trying to do Imperial Delivery, you'll get as many seals as the horse is tier. So, for example, Wraith here is a tier 8, and if he was level 15, I could Imperial Deliver him for 8 seals. Bob, which I just owned, was a tier 1, and so at level 15, he would only be worth 1 seal. Regardless of the horse's level 30 or the minimum of level 15, you will get the same amount of seals as the tier. So just keep that in mind. The best ones to go ahead and Imperial deliver are probably your 5s and 6s. Um, your 7 and 8s will probably be worth more than the Imperial delivery and seals are. So despite that being a tier 1, it was a courser, so it was actually worth quite a bit of money. But if you are going to want to make serious money capturing horses, you will probably want to go and check out Dragon. So I have never gone to capture horses in Dragon, so today might be a good day to go ahead and try that. So we're going to pull up the map here, and I want something close to Duvencrone, because I don't want to worry about not having places. So below Duvencrone, there's a place with quite a few horses, it's next to a bridge, and it's where the river meets, well, another river. So we're going to try and find that on our map. I don't have much of Dragon. I don't have much of the Dragon area explored. So as you can see, there's a lot of fog out here. But here I can see that there is the bridge and the river meeting. And it looks like it's above the river meeting and below the bridge. So the horses are going to be in this area. So we're going to head there. So this looks like it's going to be a nice and quiet area. Looks like there's some lambs, some llamas. But other than that, there's nothing insidious down here. So there we see our first horse, and it looks to be like a tier four, maybe a tier five. So the horses out here also have much rarer coats than the ones that are um, not in Dragon. Like you won't be able to capture that coat anywhere else. All right, and now it has reared. Fight with it, and the higher level your training is, the easier it is. So if you're first just starting out from level zero training, 
it will be a lot harder than this um, in order to capture them successfully. You'll have to click the spacebar a lot faster. So we're right up with the horse, and so we're going to want to give it our lumps of sugar. And then give it some time to not hate us. And we'll give it a try. And so the seed that time, it failed. The horse uh, went ahead and said no. So we're going to try that again. Get those red crosshairs at least close to each other. Throw your rope. Fight with it every time it rears. And keep slinking towards it. Alright, give it a lump of sugar again. Give it a second to decide whether or not it likes us or not. And there we go. Then I think you also have a higher chance of taming actually working if you have a higher level of training as opposed to if you're just a beginner level. So as you train more and more horses, you'll have a much better chance of ending up with the horses that you're looking for. So I've never captured out in the Dragon area, but this seems pretty straightforward and getting some high level horses or some high tier horses out of this is actually pretty nice because it's really hard going to the capture spots by Velia or Heidel because most of the horses are tier 1s and tier 2s. Sometimes you get a 3 or a 4 and then you very rarely get a tier 5. So this is actually incredibly nice. Being ensured that you're going to get a 4 or a 5. Then it looks like we have an AFK trainer here who is using Duven Kroon for their training area. And if you have wild horses set to be boarded out here, it might actually be good that you have a pretty good training route through Duven Kroon. And there's not very many people who come through here, so you're less likely to get knocked off your horse if you're going outside of the safe zone. Which it looks like this big area of farmland attaches straight to the safe area of Duvencroon. So you should be able to have a pretty big area. And there's one of my guild mates actually. And it looks like I passed a stable. So again, go up to the stable keeper, register your horse, and we got a tier 5 out of that, which is pretty nice. So you can go ahead and sell it and get 635,000 silver, or you can train it up and turn it in for seals, which if you got a big... If you ended up getting a wagon and attaching four horses to it, then you can train them up to level 15 pretty gosh darn fast, and then you will be able to turn them all in for seals. So sometimes it will time out, I guess. So try to be extra close to the horse. Or he might, yeah, he's stuck. So if the horse is stuck, it also won't let you throw a rope on it for whatever reason. So the horse has to be free moving in order for you to be able to get a rope on it. I've actually never seen that Palomino color in the background. I have to grab him too. I'm hoping I get a female out of this because then we can do some tier 5 breedings. There. 
He was actually pretty good. We didn't have to fight him too much to get up to him. Alrighty. Wait a few seconds. Roll the dice. And he likes us, so we're gonna take him back to Juvencrone. And get him registered. And we'll see what we have. Alright, so we are back at our Dubincroon stable here. We're gonna jump off and talk to this guy. And it's a girl! So go ahead and give them a name and put them in. Looks like she's a tier 4. I don't know my codes for tier 4s and tier 5s very well. But it looks like she's also a level 8. And so we should be able to push her up to level 15 or even level 30 if we wanted to use her for breeding pretty easily. Thank you all so much for watching. I know Nocturne and I both appreciate it. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see other tutorials, go ahead and comment and let me know what you want to see, whether it's horse related or not. I would love to do more tutorials for you guys. So just go ahead and leave a comment about what you'd like to see on the channel and I'll be sure to get around to it. Thanks so much, guys. Go away. Well, bye.